Look at this wall. I want to get rid of this wall and go through it. Now, there are a few ways you can do this. You can break and replace the blocks. Like a pledge. Just make the wall with TNT. Then rebuild it. Or you pull a five head move and make yourself a five by five piston door. Crafty Master Bear, that sounds really complicated. Whoa, ho, ho, welcome to Minecraft. Let me ask you, person watching this video, how many different ways can you bust through this wall? Crafty, I have no idea what you Let mean. Let me ask you another question. How many unique five by five piston doors do you think have been made? To bust through this wall. Crafty, I feel like you just skipped a lot of yes, steps Yes, I there. did. I'm trying to get people to stay watching. Well, I, I don't know. Mum Mumble made yes, one. Yes, that is true. Mumble made that. But I'm gonna ask, how many different ones do you think have been made? Uh, seven? You know what? I'm just gonna ask different people instead. Hi, Mom. I'm on TV. So, Mr. Opposite. Okay, Mr. Happy Wheels. So, Mr. Uh -huh. Epic. How versed would you say you are in piston doors? Um, one out of ten. Uh... Average amount, I would say. You're probably aware of 5x5 five five piston doors. I sure am aware of 5x5 five five piston doors. I do, yes. Uh, yes, I know they exist. I've never built one or never even seen one in-game myself. But okay. I have seen them on in videos. Now, if you were to guess, how many 5x5 five five piston doors do you think have ever been made? Um, 621. The entire, like, all of history. In all of history. <laughs> How many? It's gonna be a, a wild guess. <laughs> I don't know. 20? Probably 5 or 6. 20. Okay, <laughs> 20, like 20 is his guess. 20 is his guess. 5 or 6? 5 or 6. That's a very specific number. Is there any reason you chose that? Oh, it was the first number that came up in my head. You said 621. Well, that number is probably not far off. This that... is all the 5 and 5 piston doors. Seems like you already regret your guess. I do. I had no clue. Turn around for Oh my god. That's a little... Okay. <laughs> it's a little bit more than a 5 and 6. Just a I have told you before that you're crazy, haven't I? These are, oh my god. <laughs> these are a bunch of 5x5s. Five five it goes a little longer than you thought. I'm gonna keep going. What the? When, when was the first one made? Like, what year? How did you even find all this stuff? So, how many 5x5 five five doors were made? 500 different 5x5 five five piston doors, and that is an absolutely tiny fraction of how many more there could be. These 500 5x5 five five doors are only counting the ones on the 5x5 five five plot on Synergy, which means these are the only doors that were made in Java Edition, and doors that were picked by me and HardFG to go on the plot. If we account for all the 5x5s five we don't even know about, and include every bedrock design, there's likely more than 1,000 different doors. But how did we get here? Why are there so many different designs? Well, in today's video, we're gonna go through a history lesson of the 5x5 five five piston door and try to figure out why the concept has captivated so many redstoners. So I hope you enjoy this video and without further ado, let's talk some doors. So first we have to go way back in time before pistons were even added to Minecraft. We got our very first 5x5 five five piston door by uh... 7861279527411 This door used the piston mod as you can tell from the slightly strange mechanics and it was also only a one time use since the circuitry self destructed to achieve certain timings. The piston layout is a bit strange to say the least with independent hipster doors retracting the top and bottom and the storage pistons being in some really weird places. Hey guess what boys, pistons now exist and now we have our very first 5x5 in Minecraft made by Madama23. Sorta. The door was the size of 5x15, which is much larger than a 5x5, and had to be controlled by multiple buttons. So, sorry Madama, you got 5x5 five five bad. And now our next 5x5 five five is from... Wait, wait, hey, what's that sound? Oh, no, 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 it's too early to get competitive already, no! Hey, this is Headshot, so... The giant enemy spider! Uh, as you can see there, it's much smaller than it used to be. You can still kind of... Okay, Witty made the first proper 5x5, five five. are we happy now? Stop. And for 7 triumphant months, Witty Witty name held that 5x5 five five title and no one would ever make a bet. Knock knock. Hey, I was busy absorbing my glory. Hello guys, here's Dico and today I'm going to show you my new 5x5 five five piston door. After this, Witty Witty name was pissing his pants because someone half his age yeeted his seamless piston layout and actually made the door seamless. A new competitor enters the 5x5 five five ring and his name is Redstone innovation and he is known for 
Red Redstone Innovation. We now have a few seamless 5x5s, but they're big as fuck. Every 5x5 door so far is using independent hipster doors to open up the middle blocks, and that makes everything cringy and complicated. If we want to get 5x5 doors under 1,000 blocks, we need a, a Redstone Innovation. Oh, look at that. On June 19, 2012, Redstone Innovation uploaded a video of his epic new 5x5, which used a clever new layout. Instead of making complicated hipster doors for the top and bottom, the two sides just kind of beat each other up instead. Wait, said someone named Sydney, this sequence suck so together with Deco and Chris they finally made the first sub 1000 block 5x5 five five. then made it smaller then did it again at this point you could probably see a pattern here doors will get smaller and smaller and smaller and small. And ABH37 is basically responsible for all of that. Observers exist, and now the smallest 5x5 is 540 blocks. And still observer. One day Megatech said, screw all these 5x5s, they all suck, and they're huge and fat and ugly. I'm gonna make a new layout, and it's gonna be cool and epic, and boom, he makes a new 5x5 over 100 blocks smaller than the previous record. Then makes like two more. Willux invented this, and now every piston door uses it, including the new 5x5 record, but Willux didn't like that. And for a while, this is where the story ended. The 5x5 piston door had been around for more than a decade, and a lot of people knew how to make one. Dozens of 5x5s were being made every day, but they were mostly in the sizes of 612 and 576 blocks, and every single one of them looked exactly the same. Then 2020 happened. I started work on the 5x5 plot, which would be a plot to categorize every single 5x5 piston door ever made in existence. And with the help of Hard FG, we slowly copy-pasted all of his 5x5s from his older 5x5 plot onto the new one, and let's just say, people wanted their door to be showcased. Out of literally nowhere, the rate of new 5x5 doors were going sicko mode, and a new 5x5 meta was created, which was to get the best animation in the smallest size possible. The plot went from a redstone archiving project to a really lame d door measuring Contest. A big breakthrough came when Exerdin had the epic idea of, huh, refire is really damn slow. Let's get rid of that, and 5x5s went from a fast 3 second opening to a Lightning McQueen Kachow levels of speediness, until eventually Pixie Blocks won with his 540 5x5 which opened in 1.55 seconds, which slices old door speeds in half. Now Pixie was really bored, so obviously being the red stoner he is, he made the smallest 5x5. And for now, this is where the story ends. Now, I didn't mention any 5x5 speed records in this video, but just know that if I did, you'd be watching the exact same video, just with different doors. But one question still remains. Crafty Masterman, why are there so many 5x5 piston doors? It's definitely not because it's easy. I've built a few 5x5 doors, and I can tell you it's not a very beginner-friendly project. The reason the 5x5 gets so much love, it's because it's a very special type of door. Arguably, maybe one of the best piston doors. Now, what does that mean? Well, let me show you. Let's look at a 3x3 piston door and what it looks like when it's open and closed. A 3x3 needs 9 blocks to be pushed into the hallway, and we have 12 blocks to work with in the door frame, so that means we even have 4 free blocks we don't even need to use. Now, what about a 4x4? Well, we need 16 blocks in the hallway, and well, what do you know? We have 16 blocks in the door frame. And then when you move up to 5x5, that's when things get tricky. To close the door, we need to push 25 blocks into the hallway, but a 5x5 frame only has 20 blocks. So where do we get 5 extra blocks? And that small problem alone is why there are so many different 5x5s. There are only so many optimal ways you can wire a 3x3 or a 4x4, but a 5x5 allows for extra creativity and challenge that a 3x3 or 4x4 can't give you. Now, that's just why I think there's over 500 of these things, so who knows what the real reason is. If you're a door redstoner, maybe you can leave a comment on why you think there's so many 5x5 piston doors, or maybe why you've made a bunch of 5x5 piston doors. And that basically concludes this video, and I have no idea how to-